That's what you brought? <laughs> yes. I have a dictionary. You didn't have to carry that in your bag all day. Yeah, but I marked the pages. So, um, with, with keywords. Because they exist. Words for, um, for what we do, what, what we're doing. Doing when? You know when. But I want you to say it. See, words like, uh, fellatio. Fellatio? Yeah, fellatio, noun. Oral stimulation of the penis. I already have a word for that. BJ. Blowjob. A, a word and an abbreviation. Yeah, I know what a BJ is, thank you. Exactly, so why do we need a dictionary? Why do we need a comic book with lesbians kissing in it? Because it means that this stuff happens. People kiss people. Not just boys kissing girls or girls kissing boys. People just kiss people. Yes, that's exactly- And give them BJs. I know, that's exactly what I mean. There are words for it. And not just crass words or, or, or words that they use in my mom's church, but, you know, like scientific- Fellatio is a scientific word. And it's not condemning those who do it, and it's not, it's not glorifying them either. It's non-biased, and there, there's a scientific word for it because there's a scientific fact that people do it. And because people do it, there needs to be a name for it. And so, there it is. And what's the word for that? It's just a kiss. Just? How come we always come to my house? I don't know. Is your dad ever home? Not really. Where is he? Work or his girlfriend's Chloe. So it's embarrassing. He's never here. But that's a good thing. I mean, no interruptions. You know, most of the time, but then he'll just suddenly show up and we'll come home from school and there he'll be or he'll get off a late shift at the hospital and just show up here in the middle of the night but most of the time it, sometimes it just I want to leave here that's all I wouldn't have shot her if I knew who she was he's mad at me not at you He's mad at me, and you're standing in the way. If he stood up to things, I wouldn't have to. And then I wouldn't mess things up. If he had his way, we'd just be quiet and alone on that farm till we die. Surrounded by hay and grass and nothing. He's trying to take care of you? I can take care of myself. Ed, you just shot your future stepmother. She is in the hospital right now getting a pellet removed from her shoulder. She should have backed away, and she's basically a stranger. I mean, she he should have called us and told us she was coming. He said he did, but the phone was disconnected. And anyway, I didn't mean it. I was protecting you. Except you didn't... I, I mean, she's not even my mom. I thought I was protecting you, okay? I mean, you should be thankful. It's what I do for you. Kenny would just slither away like he did just now. Okay, I really don't want you to shoot people for me. Not even my mom. Why? You want to shoot her yourself? Uh, no. What if she were going to shoot you? Uh, she wouldn't do that. She's my mom. She's sitting at home right now with no idea whether you're eating, whether there's a roof over your head, whether you're even alive. You think somebody capable of that could never shoot you because she gave birth to you? Stop it. Even if she loves you, her love doesn't mean anything. When it matters, it doesn't mean a thing. I'm, I'm doing my, uh, my chores, washing the dinner dishes, and when I'm done, I, I go back into my room, and she is just sitting there, holding the tape and the note, her face all twisted, disgusted. She yells for my brother and my dad, and when they get in there, she she shoves the note at me and tells me, read it out loud to your father. So, so I read it, and she, she 
she shakes and she cries. And my brother is swearing and my dad just stands there. And then after I'm done reading it, I hear this uh, crack sound. And she snapped it in half. The tape you're, that I was going to give you. And I just I snatched it back. And I, I, you know, I don't know why. I mean, it's useless now. But she, she also tried to get the, the note. But I held on to it because I knew I had to give it to you. And then things got so messed up. She tells my brother to take me outside and he, he just picks me up and, and, and she just yells and yells. And, and he takes me out front and throws me out of the house. He actually threw me off the porch. And they go back inside and I don't know what to do. I, I'm just sitting there on the front lawn too scared to go back inside. And I hear more yelling and eventually my dad comes out with a bunch of my stuff and he puts me in the car. And he says that he's gonna talk to her and that if maybe it doesn't work out then I, can, I could live with his sister. But do I have a place where I can stay tonight? I'm sorry, I, I told him to call you. I, I don't mean to. Don't be sorry. My dad, he goes, I'm gonna talk to your, make sure your mom talks to you tomorrow. I don't wanna talk to her. I don't, I don't wanna go home with, to her. I just want her to leave me alone.